Okay, hello. Let's move on to talk about a report, which is another uh, type of writing you might get. The objective, to evaluate a situation and make a recommendation based on objective data. Okay, so we have to assess a situation and we have to be objective. The data is objective. Okay, um, so we'll see an example in a moment. If we look at the structure, it's again, it's classic introduction, section one, section two, recommendations or conclusion. Um, in a report, it's good to give it a title, a factual title, um, and each heading, each paragraph, each heading, each separate uh, heading when you deal with it in paragraphs should have its own title. So if it's the introduction, you call it introduction. And each paragraph, each separate paragraph would have a heading. So it's clear and easy to read. The idea is very often you don't know the person you're writing this to, and the idea is to make it as easy to follow as possible. All right. So each section should have a heading to make it very clear what you're writing about. The final one, recommendations, you would simply write recommendations or conclusion. That's all. It doesn't have to be very imaginative. Okay, A report doesn't have to have imaginative writing. You may have to invent a statistic or something, but you don't have to in invent or use imaginative, vivid language. Okay, It has to be straightforward, factual, very easy to understand, and the style at the bottom is formal. It's a formal piece of writing and impersonal. Okay, So you've got data. It's objective data, and you've got to analyze the data, and you've got to give some uh, recommendations based on the data. Let's have a look at an example. It says here, your department has recently come back from a team building weekend to improve teamwork and cooperation. Your boss has asked you to write a report on the weekend in which you should. Okay, so it's your boss. You may know him, but probably not very well, so it's formal. Okay, you've got to write a report on this weekend, and you have three things to do. You have to discuss the strengths and weaknesses suggest improvements and recommend the weekend or not for other employees. So, as I said, you have a factual title. So, team building weekend in da da da. Okay, it's factual. It doesn't, you don't have to invent anything. It doesn't have to be like maybe a review or like an essay to grab the reader. It just has to be factual. And then you write the introduction. Okay, the aim of this report is to. And then in one paragraph, the strengths and weaknesses. In another, improvements. Okay, and the titles would be this, strengths and weaknesses, improvements, and then recommendations. Okay, it's simple, so the boss can read it. Maybe he wants to look particularly at the, 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 the improvements, so he goes straight on to the improvements. So he can follow it, or she can follow it very easily. It has to be easy to follow, and factual, and formal. Okay. Again, hints. Again, as it's formal, we avoid phrasal verbs. Okay. Avoid phrasal verbs as far as possible. To avoid idioms, idiomatic expressions are informal. Don't use them. Avoid personal opinions. It has to be objective, not I think, I guess. Okay, we're going to see actually some useful vocabulary in a moment because I think it's good to see for a report and a proposal some useful vocabulary. But you will see that the vocabulary is much more objective, much more impersonal. Avoid contractions. I repeat, it's formal, so the contractions should be avoided. And again, and we're very boring about this, but formal linkers within and between paragraphs. Okay, this is something you have to try to use in all pieces of writing, but these are formal linkers. Okay, so don't use but and also. Okay, use the however, use the in addition, moreover. All right. Here we have some useful language, which is quite nice, okay, for a report or a proposal I'm doing in a moment. So again, the introduction, the main aim or objective or purpose of this report is to, blah, blah, blah. To prepare for this report, I interviewed, I discussed, Okay, so again, you're all basing it on something that you, your data you've got objectively. Reporting results, you can see, what do we have here? Uh, we have passive, passive, passive. It was commented, it is thought. Those who were interviewed, it's all passive. According to, nice and formal. We have more, presenting a list, the arguments against, blah, blah, blah. The following were the main reasons given for supporting. So we've got arguments for and against. And then recommendations in the final paragraph. I would therefore recommend, I would make the following recommendations. So the data you use is got objectively. But in the end, the recommendation is something that you have to give, but based on the objective data that you have got by interviewing or speaking to people. Okay? Thank you very much.